Hi, learners. Welcome to Fluency Day 4 for our story, St. Matthew's Island. Uh, we are going to hit those last five amazing words for fluency uh, that you'll need for a quiz this week. So you should have taken good notes yesterday. If you need to have that paper, you need to get it out so you can take good notes today, okay? I'm going to go kind of quick, but feel free to watch the video again to help yourself out. Our first word is prune. When you prune something, you cut it off or cut it out. I need to prune the rose bushes in front of my house. You might have seen somebody prune a tree, which means they cut the limbs off the tree uh, before they might cut the tree down, okay? Pruning is to cut off or cut out. Composition. Uh, the composition of something is what an object is made of. So the composition of slime is glue and contact solution. Here in my picture, the young ladies are making slime. Uh, and so what slime is made of is its composition. My next word is depletion. Depletion is to run low or out of resources. The use of pencils has led to their depletion from the bucket. Well, here in my picture, uh, we can see that there has been a depletion of trees in this picture. They are running low on trees in the area because they're cutting them down. So depletion uh, is to run low or out of resources. I hope you don't have a depletion of money. Natural resources. Uh, my next word means natural items that are used by people. Our best natural resource is clean, fresh water. So natural resources can be things like air, uh, water, uh, trees and minerals and other uh, natural things in, that we find in the earth. That's why they're called natural resources. My last word today is aggravate. To aggravate is to make worse or more severe. Scratching can aggravate an infected insect bite. So don't scratch it. You might aggravate an injury you already have. That makes it means make it worse or more severe. In my picture, that scratching is definitely a way to aggravate an injury. All right, guys. Hope you do good tomorrow on your tests. Uh, I wish you the best of luck, and I will see you again on the flip side.